Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about how to use the designer within Merge Informer for pop sockets. Um, there's plenty of videos on how to design for t-shirts and sweatshirts, but since I got the ability to load pop sockets today to my Merge account, I figured uh, let's try out this part. So you go here to pop socket, you click select product. Um, you, if you're familiar with the designer, you can use the clip art or the text function, different shapes. You can do your own drawings. But in this case, since we have so many images already in our portfolios, or we should, we can use one of our images. So you can click here, it'll open your file uh, manager and you can pick whatever image you can you want or you can just drag and drop. I got this one off Pixabay. Once you see it here, you click it once and it shows up in your screen. And from here, it's as simple as dragging, repositioning it, and make sure you get it within the safe zone. The safe zone is so when they cut the image to put it on the pop socket, anything inside the red safe zone is pretty safe, uh, but the blue zone is where they cut. But there is a variation between where they cut and where your safe zone is. So anything outside of the safe zone, you could be clipping or not including in your in your pop socket. So just keep it all inside the red circle. And Neil has done a great job with his uh, developers to make it very simple. Uh, from here, you can include other images. If you want to have a black background, so this is a transparent background now. But what I found, you can do a couple of things. You can create a 485 pixel by 485 pixel square with a different color. But the I was kind of playing with it earlier. And what I did was I added just a shape in the background. I added a square. And I made the square as large as possible. So I drag it up here, make this square as large as you can. You want it to cover, and this is a little tricky, so you want it to cover the whole square, which it looks like it does now. And then you go to your layers panel, which is right here on the left, and you see two layers, the black shape and the chickens. So you want to put the shape layer underneath the chickens, and now you have a black background for your pop socket. I believe you can change the color of the shape. Uh, let's try that. So maybe not. Either way, um, actually you could. Here you go. So yes, you can change the color of the background of that shape. And now you have different color backgrounds for your pop sockets. The images are square, but the circle will be cut out when they print it. So since you already have this image within the save zone, and you can double check by clicking that little eyeball to hide the shape layer. We're safe here, so any shape, any color background that we put will be safe. So you have a red background, red circle with your red background and a chicken in it. So I hope this helps. Um, and thank you for watching.